So this is the Shadid GFCI switch combo. It's basically a 15 amp GFCI ground fault circuit interrupter and that works as you'd expect. You put the line into here with your white over here and your black, your hot over there. Um, and then this guy is GFCI protected. And if you daisy chain any outlets off on the load side, they are also GFCI protected. And so you can put these stickers on those outlets. Now, in addition to the standard GFCI operation, it has a switch and this is only a 10 amp switch, so you can't use it to you know, control switched outlets that are 15 amp outlets, but you can use it to control a light or something, you, or a fan maybe, that's below 10 amps. Um, and so probably the most common use for this would be replacing a bathroom light switch where you want to have a receptacle and a light switch in a bathroom. I was sent this to review for free. Um, if you wanted to purchase it, it would cost you about so this has the holes in the back where you can just poke solid wire in the back and it will grip it. Or it has screws where you can put the solid wire around the screw and tighten it down. I'm going to be using it with stranded wire. And because of that, I need to put terminals on the stranded wire so I can slide them under here and make a good connection. So these crimp terminals will allow me to connect the stranded wire safely to these screw terminals. All right, so there we have our hot and neutral. So the real electrician question is, is it a switch or is it an outlet? And which way do you leave these screws? All right, so final installation, we have this light, which is a plug-in light, controlled by that switch right there. And we have a properly wired GFCI outlet here to make up for the outlet I'm losing through this cord. The instructions are reasonable. The only little quibble I have is they list the switch load as being connected to the line um, as opposed to the GFCI um, protection here. 